Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jess Dowdrick. Adam Cellini has the night off. Topping our news tonight, Florida's most recently elected state representative has been in the House for just 11 days, but she's already pushing for major changes in Tallahassee. Representative Margaret Good holding a town hall meeting earlier today at Selby Library on solutions to gun violence. As ABC 7's Erica Jackson shows us, that meeting so packed that library staff actually had to turn people away. Now is the time to talk about this issue. Now is the time to make changes. Representative Margaret Good has been in the state house for less than two weeks, but she's already frustrated. She told nearly 200 people on Saturday the state house filed seven bills about gun reform before her arrival in mid February, but none of them made it to a committee. We arrived Wednesday afternoon at the Parkland shooting without having debated or discussed one single bill having to do with gun control, gun reform, school safety, any of this. This was not on anyone's agenda. And after the state house shot down a motion on Tuesday to take up a ban on assault rifles, Good wants to see immediate change, along with a room filled with constituents, teachers, and parents of students who have been on lockdown at local schools. My children were texting me, we are cowering in the corner with the lights off in the closet. We don't know what's happening. My son should be worried more about getting in calculus than dying in calculus. State leaders are listening. Governor Rick Scott's gun plan focuses on keeping guns out of the hands of dangerous people and raising the age for buyers. House Speaker Richard Corcoran wants teachers to carry guns in school. Good expressed arming teachers is 100% not the answer. The gun is the easiest uh, thing to pick a fight with. Gun store owner Francis Missentone agrees with some aspects of the governor's proposal, explaining families of people with behavioral issues should keep guns in a safe and get them mental health help. They need to stop the root of the problem all the way back in grade school. They just won't do it. Good doesn't want the fight for gun control to become political because lives are on the line. This is not about whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican, whether you're a non-party voter. This is about protecting our students, protecting our citizens, and ending this gun violence. Good says another gun control bill will pre be proposed in the Florida House next week. She didn't give specifics about that bill, but said gun control advocates will be split, adding they should use this as an opportunity to contact state leaders with opposing viewpoints and express their concerns with those in Tallahassee. New security tonight into the frantic moments when that gunman opened fire on students in Parkland, Florida. Sheriff Scott Israel with the Broward County Sheriff's Office tells ABC News his department is now investigating reports that at least three deputies waited instead of rushing into Stoneman Douglas High School during the deadly mass shooting. The allegations reportedly made by officers from a nearby police department who were also on scene. This week, the deputy assigned to guard the school, resource officer Scott Peterson, resigning after the sheriff says he failed to confront the shooter. He was supposed to protect these kids, and he didn't. Instead, my, my, my teachers, my friends, threw their bodies on kids to protect them. The missed opportunities to stop the alleged shooter, Nicholas Cruz, from gunning down 17 students and educators stacking up. Records show deputies responded to 18 calls related to Cruz before the shooting. The FBI also admitting they failed to follow up on a tip. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office is asking for your help tonight in a hunt for an armed robber. Deputies say a man was walking on Anchor Loop in Bradenton around 10 this morning when he was approached by a man. That man demanding money and when he refused, pulled a gun and shot him in the arm. The victim was transported to the hospital where he has since been released. If you have any information on this case, you're asked to contact Manatee County Crime Stoppers at the number listed on your screen. That's 866-634-TIPS. After making Lakewood Ranch its home for 13 years, a local fitness center celebrated today by opening its doors to community to teach people about its unique form of fitness. Clients of 20 Minutes to Fitness come in once a week and work with personal fitness coach to build muscle. But unlike typical gyms, you can wear regular clothes and participate in, quote, sweatless workouts geared for your body and medical history. A 20 Minutes to Fitness client and the Smothers Brothers, actor and comedian Dickie Smothers also attending today. We spoke with him about why his fitness routine is especially important to him. As we get older, we say, oh, is life, oh, 
It's over. Look at my skin doesn't fit. I can't see as well. Uh, and I said, no, it's, it's the spiritual aspect of your life. And this is all part of it. This is really important to me. And it could be done by anybody. 100-year-old people, young people, uh, people that are very busy. You know, say, are you getting any stronger? Is it affecting your life in a positive way? Uh, it, it's a really good thing to do. And I like helping people. 20 Minutes to Fitness owner says the 20-minute workout they provide a week is the equivalent to three hours a week in a typical fitness center. 20 Minutes to Fitness is located on Lake Osprey Drive in Lakewood Ranch. It was definitely the perfect day outside to get outside and maybe some exercise too. Let's head over to Wendy Ross for our first check on your first alert weather. I know we're going to want to trade these days in for days in September. I'll tell you, it was just another one of those picture perfect days. We do have a cold front to our north. You can see the rain showers associated with it. But right here along the Sun Coast, we just had a few sprinkles that came on through. You may have seen them. You may have experienced them. They didn't last very long. They didn't hold together very well. But but as you can see, all of the movement was on up from the south to the north. And right now, we don't have anything to show you. It's nice and quiet out there. So currently, we've got 72 degrees at this point. We have some clouds around. We're going to continue to see clouds off and on for the next couple of hours. And the winds are calm right now. The dew point, 67 degrees. And the humidity is up there at 84%. And presently around the area, we're looking at cloudy to partly cloudy skies with temperatures in the low 70s. No rain around right now and we are going to be seeing clearing skies overnight so for the overnight time period temperatures will be dropping down into the 60s and we'll see lots and lots of stars out there we'll let you know how the rest of the weekend is shaping up that's coming up in just a minute Jess Thank you, Wendy. Finger pointing and Twitter exchanges in Washington tonight in the ongoing feud between Republicans and Democrats over the Russia election hacking investigation. The president joined the battle on Twitter. ABC's Elizabeth Herr reports. A Twitter war erupting over a contentious memo. Democrats on the House Intelligence Committee finally releasing a redacted version of their point-by-point -point rebuttal to the so-called Republican Devin Nunez memo from two weeks ago. Subject line, correcting the record, the Russia investigation. The Nunez memo raised questions about the FBI's handling of some of the initial warrants for wiretaps. The Democrats insist the FBI and DOJ officials did not abuse the process to spy on the Trump campaign, but much of the evidence they cite in their rebuttal is blacked out. President Trump tweeting Saturday evening, the Democrat memo response on government surveillance abuses is a total political and legal bust. The Democratic Twitter response from Congressman Adam Schiff, ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. Wrong again, Mr. President. It confirms the FBI acted appropriately and that Russian agents approached two of your advisors and informed your campaign that Russia was prepared to help you by disseminating stolen Clinton emails. The memo release comes as White House Chief of Staff General Kelly is clamping down on White House security clearances after it was revealed that former Staff Secretary Rob Porter, who was fired over a domestic abuse scandal, never received a permanent security clearance. Some of the president's closest advisors, including Trump's son-in-law Jared Kushner, haven't passed a background check and are working with temporary clearances. The president is fine if Kelly decides to keep top secret documents from Kushner. General Kelly will make that call. I won't make that call. Until now, Kushner has had access to some of the most classified documents. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New York. Rabonia's Mardi Gras parade returning for another successful year. Today, the event drawing in hundreds to Rabonia for the floats, vendors, and food. ABC 7 spoke with State Representative Wenge Newton, who has supported the parade about this year's event and what he hopes to see in the future. More vendors normally wasn't this big, but we're going to try to make it bigger and better. I want a bigger food court next year, so I'm going to work tirelessly to help them and support them by whatever I can do. The parade originally began in 1980 as a birthday celebration for the Rabonia resident. Now, after a revival last year, organizers are working to regain the crowd it once drew after it hit financial issues in 2015 and 2016 and had to be canceled.
Still to come here on ABC 7, a mother and daughter fight back against an armed thief. The liquor store robbery caught on camera. Plus, living on the edge, a look at how dozens faced their fears and repelled off of a Sarasota hotel for charity. Here's something we bet you didn't know. Nearly half of all cancers can be prevented. That's right, half nearly 50%, mostly by making small everyday changes in your diet and controlling your weight, walking more, eating less, and eating foods that help you and your family to seriously reduce the risk of cancer. And of course, by not smoking. Visit the Cancer Prevention Together We Can website and get a free 30-day planner filled with tips, recipes, stats, and more about protecting your family. Go to prevent50.org. We all love our kids and want what's best for them. You have the power to help your kids learn to succeed in life every day. When you promote a love for learning at home, children build the skills they need to be ready for school. You can be their everyday hero. It's easy. Just text Everyday Hero to 77453 for simple learning tips. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters Challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. All hands on deck. What's up? I want to point out three tips for using the home computer more safely. Point away. First, stop. Make sure your software is up to date and that you've password protected your computer's login and Wi-Fi connection. Next, think before visiting a site, opening attachments, or clicking on links. Then connect, knowing you're helping make the web safer for you and for everyone. Make Stop, Think, Connect part of your daily online routine. Whee! Are you a soccer mom or dad? Regardless of their age or experience level, when your kids play soccer or any other sport, there's one person on the sideline who is key to help recognize and seek medical care for sports-related concussion. It's you. You need to know the signs and symptoms of concussion, and you need to act if you think your child has been injured. Remember, when in doubt, sit them out. To learn more, go to cbc.gov concussion. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. Around. I saw the shotgun, I saw him, and I just started to shoot. The alleged robber returns, shot in the leg and limping. I was just pulling the trigger, just trying to keep him from getting the gun, and I kept pulling the trigger and kept pulling the trigger, pulling it. He wrestles the gun away, pistol whips her, and tries to go after her daughter, Ashley Lee. Her eyes never left me, and I knew she was here to protect me, and I was going to be there for her to protect her. But just like a scene out of a movie, she squeezes off a round at point-blank range. Mother and daughter fighting for their lives, finally able to run out of the store to safety. I'm just glad that we're both here, that we both overcome something that could end it terribly. Tina says her daughter won't be working there anymore. As for the suspect, he's in police custody in the hospital. Now police say he could be connected to at least 10 other robberies in the area. Zachary Keish, ABC News, New York. Back here on the Sun Coast, dozens face their fears today by repelling from the top of the Hyatt Regency. Among the brave ones, Sheriff Rick Wells of the Manatee County Sheriff's Office and Chief Bernadette DePino of the Sarasota Police Department. In all, 80 people taking that step off the edge as part of a fundraiser for the Sun Coast Chapter of Youth for Christ. The proceeds going to help local Sun Coast school children.
We're a mentoring organization, uh, so we, we try to partner with different churches and other organizations and schools to reach kids that are um, coming from broken homes and tough situations to really come alongside them and, and change the course of their life. As of this afternoon, the group raising $121,000 of its $125,000 goal. Wendy joins us again now with the first alert weather forecast. Wendy, it was a beautiful day today. It was a gorgeous Can we day. expect the same tomorrow? Well, I, I'm going to get to that. I'm okay. going to get to that. Okay. I Don't have to spoil. just tell you, that was the best story. I mean, can you imagine scaling off of a building like that in open air and with these kind of weather conditions? I mean, that's pretty great. <laughs> ideal, it? yes. It was pretty ideal outside. And we did. We had a beautiful day all day today from beginning to the end. You can see just a couple of clouds later in the day. And we actually had some sprinkles that didn't even require you to turn on the windshield in most cases. It was a very lovely day with our temperatures right back up into the 80s. We got up to a high of 84 degrees today. Normally we're at 74, not a record for us, 87 set back in 2001. But these are some of the high temperatures we saw around the area. Lots of 80s, Arcadia 86 degrees, 89 in Punta Gorda. And along the beaches it was a little bit cooler, Venice reporting 82, but Englewood and Sarasota and Bradenton and Parrish all 84 degrees. If you were in Mayaca City, it was also 84. So it was hot today for some places, and we're going to continue to see that warm weather. That's going to take place again tomorrow. We've got humid conditions as well, and we're going to be near those record highs. Not Maybe not getting there, but we will be near those record highs, and that warm weather is going to linger for several, several days. We'll talk about that in just a second. As you can see, temperatures right now are mostly in the low 70s at the beach. You get away from the beach and they're not much cooler readings in the low 70s right now but we do have a cold front across the country and that is moving towards the southeast we're looking at these showers forming in advance of it and as you can see some of that is going to be moving into the panhandle region of florida by tomorrow but this cold front does not come farther to the south so it's going to stay stuck to the north of us and in the meantime we've got this high pressure system that's dominating our forecast and that's going to help to bring about that humid condition and also the possibility of thunderstorms will stay well to our north across the panhandle of Florida. We are not going to see any rough weather here across central or south Florida. So that's not going to be an issue. And as you can see, we've got the best weather in the country because they're looking at snow and icy conditions across the Great Lakes. They've got that line of thunderstorms all the way down through eastern Texas. More snow out in the west and here across the southeast, things are pretty nice. They're going to get some rain across the southeastern part of the country tomorrow. We may see just a smattering of rain, just like we did today. We could see the same thing developing for tomorrow afternoon. And it's just going to be these showers that will form from the south, moving on up towards the north. We've got a little bit more moisture. We're going to see the sea breezes coming on in. So those type of things will definitely set up for the possibility of some showers. But for the most part tomorrow, lots and lots of sunshine around. You can see along the sun coast during the morning hours, things are going to be beautiful maybe a few showers along the east coast but not much for us until late late in the day if you're heading out to the beach winds will be out of the south at 10 knots seas one to two feet with a light chop sunny warm once again you need that sunscreen 81 degrees for the daytime high now tonight we're going to be partly cloudy we're going to clear up during the overnight time period 66 for the overnight low normally we're at 55 and as we take a look at these temperatures for the upcoming week if you have company coming in from out of town, they're, they're just never going to leave. Take a look at this. Temperatures in the low 80s. We've got lots and lots of sunshine around. 20% chance of rain on Friday because that's the next cold front coming in. And then finally, on Saturday, we get back to normal. You're going to feel cool. 74 is normal. And that's what we're going to see on Saturday. Jess? Thank you, Wendy. Sports is coming up next. Stay with us. It's time to take a road trip. Alabama's got a hundred road trips. And if you love the sun, you're going to love Mobile, where Mardi Gras is king. And the accommodations will make you feel like royalty. You can take a little drive, explore Dauphin Island, or explore the past. We're talking the USS Alabama. Check out these big guns. Alabama's got a hundred road trips. Plan yours at alabama.travel. Which one you gonna take? 
thousands of award-winning Honda Civics are on sale for $169 a month during the Honda President's Day Sales Event. You made Civic the best-selling compact car in America. Drive one today for just $169 a month or save thousands on your Civic with 0.9% financing. Civic, a KBB.com best buy for less than the competition. Only $169 a month or 0.9% this week at your local Honda dealer. Honda, I like it. Oh, yeah. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. It's been about a month, and I can honestly say I've seen the change in me. I went from being a depressed girl who didn't want help to this happy, caring girl who loves helping other people. I just really hope that people that went through what I went through get the help that they need because their story is important and they are loved. Thank you so much for everything. There was this big bruise on my friend's face. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to think her own nephew could have hit her. I didn't want to see it. My mother's bank account was emptied, and her caregiver had taken control of it. I didn't want to see it. My father's refrigerator, there was hardly anything in it. That's unusual for him. It's tough to see that a senior citizen is being abused, physically, emotionally, sexually, or financially. Elder abuse is a crime. So see the signs, stop the crimes. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. I will always win to this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Now, sports. The Tampa Bay Lightning hit the ice tonight in Montreal, taking on the division rival Canadians. Both teams coming off wins Thursday night and this game coming down to the wire. Tied at three after three periods of play and an overtime period, this game went into a shootout. The Lightning pull off the win, beating the Canadians four to three. Spring training is in full swing with the Tampa Bay Rays in action today. The Rays traveling to Fort Myers to take on the Boston Red Sox. The Boston Red Sox win it 4-3. to three. The Rays will be back in action tomorrow against the Minnesota Twins. To Lecom Park where the Pittsburgh Pirates host the New York Yankees for the team's first home game of the spring season. Pirates right-handed pitching prospect Nick Kingham making the start, allowing only two hits and had two strikeouts in just two innings. But the Pirates offense couldn't get any momentum going. The Pirates fall to the Yankees 4-1. to one. The stadium filled with lifelong fans for both teams. I'm a big baseball fan. I love the Pirates. I've been uh, going to games since 1958. We came down here from Illinois to see the Yankees. I've been watching Yankees for 65 years, so I just want to keep it up. In split squad action today, the Baltimore Orioles host the Minnesota Twins at Ed Smith Stadium in Sarasota. After nine innings of play, the Birds and Twins tie at one. And earlier today, the Orioles, other half of the team, taking on the Phillies. The Phillies win it nine to six. Here's a look at our fan of the day sent into us by Michael Grabowski. Looks like Manny's number one fan was in the house tonight at Ed Smith Stadium. You too can be our fan of the day. Just take a selfie of yourself at one of the Orioles home spring training games and email it to us at pics at mysuncoast.com. That's P-I-X at mysuncoast.com. 
The PGA Tour stops in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida for the Honda Classic with all eyes on golfing great Tiger Woods. In day three of play, Woods broke 70 for the first time in nine rounds since his return from another back surgery. Woods sits tied for 11th on the leaderboard with one day left to play. Luke List, Justin Thomas, Webb Simpson, Tommy Fleetwood and Jamie Lovemark round up the top five. More to come here on ABC7. Stay with us. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. We all love our kids and want what's best for them. You have the power to help your kids learn to succeed in life every day. When you promote a love for learning at home, children build the skills they need to be ready for school. You can be their everyday hero. It's easy. Just text Everyday Hero to 77453 for simple learning tips. Everything all right? Actually, you know how Tom had knee surgery? Sure. We found out Brad's been taking his painkillers. It turns out he's been doing it for a while. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. Monday on ABC 7 News at 7. The group of patients who really need this care have a very difficult time accessing it. So they can have trouble finding doctors who will provide care in a non judgmental way. Planned Parenthood offering transgender hormone therapy to those making a change. But who is paying for the medication? I'm Alan Cohn. We'll have that story as we take it to the trapezoid. Monday on ABC 7 News at 7. Your Suncoast News. We are here for you. Watch Good Morning Suncoast on ABC7, weekdays starting at 5. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios. This week across the nation, we learned just how powerful words are, especially with the alleged threats at schools keeping thousands home. But as some students in Indiana learned, the kind words can make just as much of an impact. Students of Carmel High School taping a positive message Friday onto 5,100 lockers. Aliyah Thompson is one of the students who reminded her classmates that they are amazing and valued. This was important too, considering some of the things that have been happening and just um, knowing that we're all in a family at Carmel High School and just how cool it is to like, be able to have a positive message on your lockers. You just don't know the impact that it's gonna have on somebody's day and you know, I think that that's a bigger picture. You know, whether negative things happen before it or after, um, you know, that's, that's what you do. 23 other classes at Carmel High School also performed acts of kindness. That's the kind of thing we could really use here on the Sun Coast. It was a week full of a lot of threats to our local schools. Yeah. The kindness would 
would be a great thing for our area right now. I know, that is so true. And one of the things that we're looking forward to, and this is on a completely different note, we are looking forward to some continued great weather. And it is going to be a beautiful night tonight with overnight lows in the 60s and a beautiful start today. Tomorrow. Right. Thanks, Wendy. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night.